Right, this is a short video, or hope for short, anyway. I had to, get the dr uh, I had to drill the holes out for the um, Drummond, Drummond style gears for the hole in the pins. Uh, I've got quite a few to do. There's these, uh, there's these here. There's an afterthought to be honest, I weren't thinking about recording this and I've already done those. There's 13 in total. Uh, so it's worthwhile making a jig for it. Well this is, obviously it's up to you if you want to get a flatter piece of steel. This is flat, it looks rough, but it is actually flat. Um, the way I've got the spacing, that's a 5 8 uh, pin by the way. It's 5 8 and it's threaded M uh, M8. Uh, so it threads on onto these holes that are already here on this makeshift pallet that I did for a horizontal bone saw. What I did was, I put the gear over it. And I line the drill bit perfectly to get inside the, uh, to get inside that hole. Those are 4.5 millimeters on my gears anyway, uh, and those are taper taper pins. But I'm not bothered with the tape. Uh, I'm not going to do the taper pin method. I'm going to use M5 M4.5 pins threaded M4. Um, I'll see if I can get that one that I've actually done. I'll put the camera down in a minute, it's not going to be handheld all the way through. It's drilled 3.5mm through, and I've used uh, 4.5 just to go down just that little bit because obviously when you thread, you don't thread all the way down to the bottom, down, you can't thread all the way to the shoulder, so it will stand off. So that 4.5 pin should screw into that a ways, certain ways. Uh, so I'm going to use 4.5 millimeter rod, tapped it, to, to, well threaded it, M4. Um, but anyway, I lined it up, drilled through the 3.5, and drilled a little bit further down as well into the steel. And took it out and then drill through the rest. Being careful, obviously, that they don't go through into the bed. Um, yeah, drilled that little bit thro uh, through, changed the drill bit to 4.5, and then drilled this is 20mm plate. I drilled down to about 18mm. Um, took it out, obviously, swapped back to the 3.5mm drill bit, and then just put the blank on. Drilled through. And then what you do is, well, I'll show you the, I'll show you the method anyway. Right, you get your blank. Slide it on. You don't want to drill down too fast, otherwise the drill bit will wander. You know that anyway. So you just pack it in. While it's slowing down, you spray the swarf off, that way it minimises the chance of getting swarf around the back of here, around the back of the pin where you don't see it. I still spray off anyway, but it's just less. Periodically blow the swarf out inside your pin as well. And you get um, one of these bits, counter sinker. Um, just deburr it because you do get a burr on the bottom. It's a 3.5 millimetre drill bit. I'll just stop for the damn compressor. Thank you. It's a 3.5 millimetre hole. And it's a 4.5 millimetre hole in that, so you will get a burr. So you just a light. That was a mess.
might as well do both sides as well. And that way when you're drilling through for the 4.5 hole, just that little just that little dip in, that little chamfer will aid aid in the drill bit. I'm not wandering. So that's that one as well. There's just a case of just getting another one. Checking obviously to make sure you've got no uh, uh, swath. You just repeat. So about the quality of this, I might set up a Patreon account, eh? Bought myself a tripod and decent lighting. The subscription money. Right, I've set this all ready for the depth. I know that these blanks are exactly the same um, thickness. They're, well, within 0 0.01 of a mil. Um, <coughs> it's always going to be aligned that way. But this way is the problem. So, I set the drill bit. So the actual flat at the bottom, the two flutes are angled. So the, the corners are pointing that way and that way. You just dab down. That was a good mark. That was actually aligned up already. And that's it. I've got one that's not aligned up. When you tap down, you'll see the end of the drill bit shift. So you just rotate it. You don't touch the table hand wheels. If you do that, it'll send the jig out of alignment. That's it. go the taper pin method, obviously you don't have to do this, but then you have to mess around with taper reamers and, get, uh, and getting the depth of the tapered hole perfect because when you put a taper pin in, if it's not absolutely perfect, <laughs> it'll either drop down further in or stand further out and you won't get them all aligned up perfectly so you'll have to jig that up. Never used a taper reamer before. I'm about to take the job out. Why? I've never used a taper reamer before, so I can't advise you on that. On to the next one. This is going to take a while, I can see. Right, now comes the other hole. You're going to, make, uh, you're going to have to make the tolerance a little bit, uh, a little bit freer um, when you've actually done all the gears. I'm going to, I'm going to be using these pins. There's a key when I'm uh, when I'm cutting the gears, um, so I'm making them as tight as possible. Now, obviously, when you're drilling, um, cut a long story short, I haven't got the sizes that I need. All the gears that I've got, I want to use some of the original gears as well in with the mix, and the pins on those vary between four point four five mil and. 4.6, 4.7, something like that, so they do vary quite a bit. I want to standardise the ones that I'm doing though, so they're all the same size for when I'm cutting the gears. Now, instead of using, instead of turning a pin and threading a pin, I've just used an M4 um, high tensile cap head screw, and I've chopped the head off it, and chopped the thread down a little bit. That's M4, and I've drilled M4. And obviously bolts are made, uh, bolts are made slightly undersized uh, because the drill bits are undersized. It's pointless having an M4 cap screw and people drilling at M4 and not being able to get the cap screw in. 
So that's a nice, uh, because that, I didn't think it was a bit of an oversight, I've had to drill another hole. Because that's, uh, that, I drilled that one as 4.5, but I don't have 4.5mm bolts or pins on. No, I'm not going to turn one. So for now, that's a nice fit. It's M4, these, are, uh, these have been tapped as M4. So I just uh, I just screw the cap head screw in. And that's set for drilling the other hole. Now the way I line that up, because these are different sizes obviously to these, um, I slip the gear on. I didn't just test it with this gear either, I checked, I checked quite a few uh, quite a few other gears and lined up a 4.5 mm milliliter. A 4.5 millimetre drill bit with a hole, just anywhere, anywhere basically. Lined it, uh, lined it up with that hole, raised it, took the gear off, changed the bit to a 4 millimetre, and drilled down. Then I got the gear, or one of the gears, with a pin in it, dropped it in, and it fitted nice. I took it off, got that back again, put the 4mm drill bit there, uh, 4.5 in, I lined it again without moving the table or anything. So the drill bit, so the centre of the uh, drill bit is in exactly the same place as where I punched down before. I lined it up, clamped this down so it didn't move using, uh, using this hole. Like that, just basically clamped it down so it didn't move. And I moved the table to align the drill bit up with the hole in the original gear. Obviously raised it back up again, changed the bit and drilled down. So in fact I didn't drill down. I put another um, what's it blank in, not this one obviously because I haven't drilled the hole on this one yet. Um, drilled through, part into this, removed it and then drilled the rest of the way down being careful not to drill into the bed. So now they're all lined up. So I put that pin in and there's very very slight wobble, not that much. But like I say, once the gears are cut, I'm going to be opening up the bigger hole on all of them. Because one, one hole's slightly wider than the other to accept to accommodate the pin, the pin on the other side. It's a good job as well because, like I mentioned, the taper pins do vary a little bit depending on the age of the gear and how much use they get. So eventually, I've, I've ordered some 4.5 millimeter diameter silver steel. It's ground. Uh, it's ground at 4.5 millimeters. I'm going to order a 4.7 millimeter drill bit, something like that, or a 4.8. So that then it's going to be a nice, nice slip fit. Enough talk. <coughs> so that's lined up now for for this hole. Just drill down. Pack it tight because it's not centre drill. I don't want the drill bit wandering. Ready. Well, can uh, deburr, deburr, uh, deburr, obviously with that um, counter sinker or whatever tool you've got. You just move on to the next. Put the pin in this one. This will really show up my accuracy. <laughs> I'm putting the screw in the right side. Yeah, that's the one that I've punched down a little bit further into. 
this will show up my accuracy now to see if, uh, see if it's repeatable. I've had one gear that was a little bit too tight to go on. You know what I mean? The hole was slightly wrong for that. Because that is a very precise hole. See if it drops. Please drop. Yep. Ooh, look at that. Precision. I did have one of these actually that I couldn't get back off again. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> it's overhanging so I could get my fingers underneath but the other one wasn't wasn't overhanging. That was fun, trying to get that one off. That goes onto the finished pile. See if our repeatability is the same. I can be accurate when I want to be. And I do measure stuff sometimes. It's, oh, yeah, it's on. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to show you all of these. And just to test, I've cut another bolt down, or cap screw down, should I say. So I've got a pin in there, pinning both of these. Bearing in mind, these holes are 45 millimeter, so there is slop. There will be slop, but when you stick them on the, um, obviously, the bore isn't being used. So line them up properly. See if they fit together. If they don't, then I'm seriously out. <laughs> and like I said, that's the slop because one hole's four point there. Well, you can probably see inside there. It's an M4 cap screw and a 4.5 mil hole. So the slop there. But it's all looking good. And that's the two that I've just shown back on the mill, compounded together. Uh, so yeah, they're coming together. <laughs> <laughs>